So who's a fan of patch 11.15? For those of you that are, the good news is that this one's gonna go on for an extra week. Now, if you aren't so happy about that, there's still some good news because it'll eventually pass, and better yet, I have a preview of those upcoming changes for you. Anyway, what's up guys? My name is Nathan Ng, and I'm here to let you guys know what's gonna happen next patch. So hit that sub button because we'll provide a full set of changes in the near future. Now, let's get started. First up, we have a systems nerf for Dark Seal. While it doesn't provide extra healing on potions this season, the ability power was drastically increased. I'm surprised, right, is adjusting it this late into the season. For your information, the item was changed all the way back on patch 10.23. Ultimately, at the cost of sustain, the item received 5 more starting AP and also 20 more AP at max stacks. For 350 gold, you could potentially hold onto an item that not only upgrades to Magi Soul Sealer, but also grants you 65 AP. While that is the best case scenario, players that are snowballing can easily get out of control. 65 AP for 350 gold is absolutely insane, especially if you're able to reach this point by the mid game. My guess is that the AP per stack will go down, but we'll have to see what the final changes are. If you want to be the type of player to quickly max out Dark Seal or Magi's, you can go ahead and check out ProGuys.com. I mean it when I say our coaches can help you figure out what you need to do to improve, so hit one of them up. We also have some awesome courses for you guys to check out. Anyway, let's get back into the video. Next are some system buffs. We have two coming up, one is for the rune, Fleet Footwork, and the other one is for the item, Redemption. Fleet Footwork has been seeing some nerfs since its release. Most of the time, AP champions were healing far too much off of it and Riot had to step in to keep things under control. Cassidy, we're looking at you. It's tough to say what they'll buff about it, but my guess is that it might receive a slight increase in base healing as it's definitely on the low side. In the case of Redemption, it's definitely an item that can be strong. However, a lot of damage in the game comes out far too fast and the 2.5 second delay isn't justified for the moderate healing that the item provides. I'm willing to guess that either the delay will be lowered slightly, or that the healing will receive an increase. The price is already quite low at 2300 gold, but again, we'll have to wait and see what they actually change next patch. Moving forward, let's go ahead and talk about champion balance. There are plenty of champions that you probably want nerfed to the ground, and hopefully they made it to this list, and hopefully your champion is not on this list. The following champions that are getting nerfed next patch are Diana, Fiora, Lee Sin, Lulu, Tom Kench, Shin Zhao, and Ziggs. Oh thank goodness they're finally nerfing Lulu! With over a 40% ban rate for the last 5 patches, it's about time. I mean, you better nerf Aurelion Soul first, right? <laughs> Come on, Riot. Anyway, a bunch of these champions are top tier picks at the moment. Diana is a powerful flex pick. Fiora is one of the most unforgiving top laners to play against, while both Lee Sin as well as Shin Zhao are two of the most dominant junglers in the game. Tom Kench and Ziggs aren't super popular, but their stats are absolutely insane right now. Tom Kench's ban rate and high elo is over 15%, and Ziggs is at what's possibly an all-time high at 13%. Who would have thought that these two would have been drawing so many bans? Tom Kench is extremely powerful after some follow-up buffs to his rework, while Ziggs has been quite strong ever since they buffed his ultimate a few patches ago. At the end of the day, Riot is nerfing the super OP champions as well as ones that are starting to become a problem. The nerfs are covered, so let's go ahead and talk about the buffs next. These champions are getting buffed. Jarvan, Jin, Maokai, Nunu, Shaco, Sivir, and Vladimir. Really? Vladimir? Jarvan received a huge buff last time, reducing the cooldown on his W shield heavily. The buffs weren't good enough and maybe he'll receive some extra damage this time. Maokai seems like he's in an okay spot, but due to the lack of popularity, it seems like he's also been on Riot's radar. Same applies for Nunu, and it's looking like tanks are really getting some love. Fun fact, Shaco's Q was bug fixed last patch to correctly show up from the enemy's point of view. This might be why his win rate shot down last patch, but he's up for a buff next one. His win rate has dropped to 48% this patch, which is possibly the lowest it's been in Season 11. And then there's Vladimir, who was OP for basically a single patch this season. He mellowed out and now is sitting at a 50% with a pretty low play rate. I expect his buff to be a very small one. Hopefully. We also have some major marksman buffs. Sivir is getting some love and surprisingly so is Jin. While they've had their moments this season, various meta changes have inevitably pushed them out. With several of their builds nerfed over the course of Season 11, it's time that they finally received some love. I'm just wondering when it's my turn. <laughs> we could all use some love, right? <laughs> finally, we have one adjustment coming up, and that's for Sona. Sona changes have been pretty hectic. Even the smallest buff can suddenly make her broken with her versatile and low cooldown utility. She's also pretty straightforward, just stay alive and spam your abilities to help your team out. As long as you land your ultimate, the rest of the fight is simple. Although Sona's play rate is quite low, Ryan has decided to adjust her and my hope is that it's going to make her a little bit more interactive to play as and play against. Anyway, that'll be covering up our patch 11.15 preview. Hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you guys are looking forward to, and what you're not looking forward to in the comments down below. We do have a link to join our Discord in the description, so feel free to check that out. Best of luck in the rest of the patch, and as usual, stay safe, stay healthy, and have a wonderful day. Peace.